This portion of the news is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. Saturday's town cleanup was discussed at the Board of County Commissioners meeting. Town cleanups this weekend, it's uh, uh, headed up by the uh, um, Nuclear Waste uh, at the Nuclear Waste and Environmental Advisory Board and also Pahrump Four Wheelers and it's at the PLAB or just the Pahrump Four Wheelers? PLAB, PLAB is doing 372. So uh, you're all going to meet at the Root Center, I believe, Saturday morning. Yeah. I think it's 830, 8830, somewhere in there. So if you want to help out, please do. Uh, Pahrump Valley Disposal usually provides containers and I see somebody out there from Pahrump Valley Disposal too. Uh, containers and uh, uh, stuff and I think they'd uh, the meeting I was at last week, they asked uh, for some cloth gloves, landscape gloves. Uh, so if you have some of those, you can bring out for people to use to pick up items. And all of that information will be there. So show up there and help out, and I should see you there. Once again, the town cleanup is being held Saturday morning at 8.30. You can go to the Bob Rood Community Center near Petrick Park at the corner of Basin and Highway 160. They have a lot of supplies there, and they'll tell you what areas need to be cleaned up. Bring the family out. The Board of County Commissioners, a, a British car show will be held Sunday morning in the Mountain Falls near the Grill Room. It's a uh, car club that was started in 1990. Originally it was started for Triumphs mm -hmm. and then branched out and included all British cars. Wow. So they, uh, they have Austin Martins, Jags, Austin Healy's, uh, you name it, any of the British cars. A Morgan. Wow. So is there going to be a car show soon? And uh, September 20th, they will uh, drive over from Las Vegas to the grill room. They will have lunch. The Pahrump Valley uh, cruisers will come down and judge the cars, which is going to be parked on the grass. So it makes for a nice venue. And uh, f after that, they, we will travel over to the Sanderson Winery. Wonderful. So it's going to be in Mountain Falls. Can the public attend? Yes, if they want, they can, yeah, just they walk right in front of it. browse around. Yeah. The cars uh, usually have a placard set in front of them, mm -hmm. so you have an idea of their background, their build, um, and some auto specs. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's a lot of fun. We've This is the second annual, and we award uh, up to fifth place, and then I give them a little... LBC, uh, British flag, uh, American flag button, and they have, uh, we're scheduled to have a brunch there. And then after that, the awards will be given uh, according to the judging. Mm -hmm. So if people want to join, of course, they have to have a British car, right? <laughs> no, they don't have to have a British car. It's open, the membership is open to anybody. We would like you to own a British car, but you don't have to. <laughs> and you can come to all of the events. And the, uh, most of it is held over in Las Vegas. What we are trying to do here is set up a satellite group mm -hmm. of British car owners in the Pahrump area. So if the club in Las Vegas decides to go to Bol uh, Boulder to uh, an event over there, mm -hmm. we could have a similar event over here and not have to make a 200-mile trip. Wonderful. This is a fundraiser, isn't it? Uh, this, well, we will donate, the club will donate to Prump Valley. Mm -hmm. Prump Valley Cruisers. And they will, they, as I understand it, Prump Valley Cruisers takes that money and does something beneficial for the children of uh, Pahrump. Pahrump. Yeah, they do a lot of events. They sponsor the community pool and other different uh, events, yes. pay for things. Uh, so what time and date is this again? Uh, September 20th, it'll start at 11, and it should be completely over by 2. And here's Ron Chase with Nevada Public Auction. Hey, well, all right, sir, here this we'll segment is sponsored by Nevada Public Auction. A uh, huge auction this weekend. Uh, so much stuff that we're going to have stuff outside again. Also got the two cars you see behind me. The Ford Taurus, a pickup truck, a nice boat trailer, uh, patio sets, exercise equipment, lots of stuff outdoors, uh, some tools. And inside, lots of furniture, uh, leather recliner, leather couch, nice formal glass dining room table, china cabinets, hutch, corner curios. I mean, you name it, there's all kinds of stuff. 
So this auction is on Saturday. That's right, Saturday at 10 o'clock. Uh, tools, there's like a huge wood lathe, shopsmith, two large industrial kilns, um, big radial arm saw, brand new chainsaw, generator compressor, all kinds of Makita tools. So you name it, just tons and tons of tools, lots of collectibles, uh, jewelry, some turquoise jewelry, tokens, coins, uh, casino chips. I mean, you name it, it is just full again. So you can preview all day Friday or even Saturday morning? That is correct. So preview is Friday, uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday is auction at 10 a.m. We do open our doors one hour early at 9 o'clock. Come in and get a good seat. Uh, look around for preview again there's so much stuff you really encourage to do so uh you can call me here 751-4867 and not all the pictures are online but a good amount is at the auctionenv.com is this going to be an online auction this is not an online auction local bidding only um so uh and the extra is 800 margaret street coming out for preview uh we will though after this auction is over at 5 p.m we will reopen for an online auction uh, with local bidding too a really nice uh, zeppelin stamps these are all stamps that were um flown on all the old german zeppelin airships mm -hmm. and then a lot of nice coins too when is that one that is saturday at 5 p.m at night Wow, okay. So two so auctions people, Saturday. That's amazing. Um, if people want to sell their own items, can they do that here? Absolutely. Uh, we take consignments, big and small, one piece, thousand pieces. Uh, I mean, you name it, we do it. Charity stuff, you know, just uh, give me a call at 751-4867. According to the Nye County Sheriff's Office, they have completed an investigation concerning a possible suicide. 50-year-old Robert Brown was found hung inside a residence in Tonopah. According to the report, on September 8th, the Nye County Sheriff's Office received a report of a possible suicide by a male subject by the name of Robert Earl Brown. Upon arrival, the Nye County Sheriff's deputies found Brown and pronounced his death. Robert Brown was scheduled for a sentencing hearing later on that afternoon and was facing a possible prison sentence sentence. After further investigation, the death was determined to be a suicide. A ribbon cutting was held this morning at the Prump Valley Chamber of Commerce offices. It's another good day for small business in Pahrump. On behalf of the Chamber of Commerce, we're pleased to introduce Karen Taylor and August Services. Karen and Brent are working to fill a gap in senior, serv senior social services, working with physicians, community resource providers, and family members. Seniors are uh, empowered to remain as independent as possible living at home. So with that, it's my pleasure. Karen, please cut the ribbon. We have just opened last month, and what we're doing is we're coordinating the lives of seniors who wish to remain living independently at home so we can uh, coordinate with their physicians, with any home health care services providers that they have, hospice providers that they may have, um, making sure that all of their needs are met in the home. And we coordinate that for them on an ongoing basis, or it can be family member comes in to check on their senior citizen, family member living here, and they find out that some services are needed, but not an ongoing, they can manage after that. So I can help them coordinate what's needed at the initial onset, and then just touch base with the family as needed, or I can provide that ongoing coordination of the senior's life. Tell me about the name, because it's an interesting story. Yeah. Yes. Um, so August Services is in honor of uh, my first, how the business was launched, our first client, um, Mr. Augie, whose first name is August. And we wanted to honor him because it was because of his life that this business came to fruition. And we um, connected with him. I have known him for years. He moved back to our valley last year, right before turning 90 years old, and was stubborn enough to say, I'm going to live on my own, in my own home I don't care what it takes and he started declining very fast in health and so as a family friend I started checking on him more frequently and in that time he ended up in the hospital when the hospital was ready to release him into assisted living he said over my dead body I'm not going anywhere but home so we brought in hospice services for a time and in that time it was presented to me Karen you have something going here in the way you coordinate his life life. Um, would you consider opening this up to other people? So it's taken several months, but we're good to go now. How do you get in touch with you? Website information, phone numbers? Sure. My website is augustservicesllc.com and our email is karen, K-A-R-E-N, 
at augustservicesllc.com. Our phone number is 775-443-6866. After this break, we'll have your news across Nevada and weekend sports.